Hi and welcome. In this game replay, we'll look into laning, items, farming patterns, and combat as a storm. So first things first, while in the pick phase, you'll want to ask yourself a question. What am I up against? Once you know that, you ask yourself two more questions. Can I last hit with right clicks? Will I need to last hit with spells? Let's take a look into each of these situations. Scenario 1. Can I last hit with right clicks? Enemy hero examples. Tinker, Queen of Pain, OD. These heroes, for most of the early game, have static right click output. So, as long as you match their damage, you should have a decent laning stage. For the items, you can mix Null Talisman, Branches and Fairy Fires. Scenario 2. Will I need to last hit with spells? Enemy hero examples, Shadow Friend, Bloodseeker, Invoker. These heroes have insane damage scaling with the levels, which means you can forget about contesting with right clicks. In this case, you will want to grab some basic regen and rush battle. Item choices here would be any combination of a Tango, Mango and Salve. Once you have your initial items, you ask yourself one more question. Do I expect extra pressure? Examples. If they have strong lanes, their position 4 5 can roam around the middle lane, dropping right clicks on you and preventing you to leave for runes. In this case, skip battle in favor of extra regen. In this game, I knew they had to babysit Anti-Mage, who is a very weak laner, which means their middle pressure won't be an issue. I knew I wouldn't be able to contest last hits with right clicks, so I went for regen and a battle rush. Where do you put the ward? You need two things visible, enemy high ground and either of the runes. Luckily, one ward does both, so what you want to do is either ask for ward yourself or communicate where you want that ward placed. In this game, while Shadow Friend is weak, I'll use this to secure my starting last hits. I do this by blocking the creeps so they end up on my side of the high ground. Always attempt to extend the distance between enemy hero and his creeps. While Shadow Friend's damage is superior, he cannot both attack and deny at the same time. So by keeping your creeps and enemy creeps separate, you can ensure a few more last hits. I do this by actively pulling enemy creeps to either my ranged one or the high ground. Use your spells when you know enemy will otherwise deny. Right now I see Shadow Friend just wasting his spells, which tells me he also sees that regen rune. Leaving for the rune is not an option at this point, so I ferry me some mana regen. At this point you cannot contest Shadow Friend at all, so you just deep push what comes to your tower and try to catch up in the jungle. No whining now. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. I've been wanting this. Be afraid to use shrines to accelerate your farm. I know Shadow Friend can kill me with race combo, so I am very cautious to show up in the lane. One misplay and I'm dead. Dyer are scanning. I fight to the last breath. From here on, you can establish a pattern, safely clear a wave and go take that extra jungle farm. This is very useful against enemy mids who cannot flash farm like you. Oh 
always keep an eye on the minimap and actively check what's happening in the lanes. Right here, I am spotting Shadow Friend on my high ground as he prepares to clear the wave and hit the tower. As long as you get decent uptime hitting him, it's usually a kill. Over here now. Where's the party? Here I am. Worth noting here that you should always have clarities in your inventory. They are the cheat code to having a good storm game. Always aim to keep your mana pool high. Let's talk about item choices. Looking at the enemy heroes, I can tell that I am not going to be stomping them anytime soon. Normally, with an okay farm, I would aim for an early bloodstone, but here, where a tiny misplay causes your death, you want stats first and foremost. Threats, Kaya, and you have a fighting chance. Another thing to keep in mind as Storm, mana is a luxury. Always walk to your destination unless otherwise necessary. Either fight breaking out or tower clearing enemy creeps, which is your farm. Don't forget to keep sending yourself clarities. Farming pattern is the same as in the early game, but instead of jungle to tower, you now go jungle to fights. Had your warning. Zip. Next item is Lincoln's, since it counters both Doom and Anti-Mage. Again, especially important that you keep your mana high during jungling, so that when you join fights, you're at your full strength. If you see someone approaching, this means he's not alone, even if you cannot see the second enemy yet. Don't wait, bail. Bloodstone is a great next item here, because with your previous purchases, you are unlikely to die. Dash! 
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Gratitude. As long as your mana is high, you can jump in and out of fights even with lower health. My next item is BKB, just so I can initiate first without worrying about being stun locked. Under attack. Dyer's top oh, boom, there it goes. Here, I cut Clock's attention long enough to efficiently jump him, losing minimal mana in the process. Unstoppable. often and be aware of your surroundings. Last thing you want is to sit in place among strong enemy disablers. Under attack. Radiance middle Late game's farming pattern is very straightforward. If you're ahead, you go wave, jungle, fight or a pick off. At this point, you're only getting more powerful with extra regen and mobility, while Shadow Friend keeps the same pacing, which means you farm way faster. And all his early game advantage is gone. Stupendous! Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Always look around the map for solo kill potential. Even if you do 4 dives and die on the 5th, it's still space and net worth gain for you and loss for their team. Radiance Middle Tower has been denied. Here I am! With 
great game's infinite banner region and infinite remnants, they cannot leave base, leaving them very little chance to recover. As a strong independent storm who needs no help, you have assured your win. Well done. Radiance middle tower has fallen.